This problem is asking us to discover what we can about the instructions in this pipeline given the control signals provided. And it turns out that it's easiest to solve this problem going backwards through the pipeline. And so I'm going to start in the right back stage. And what we know about the right back stage is the instruction that's there is writing a register. Also, since the mem to reg signal is 1, it's writing back into the register a value that came out of the data memory. And so an instruction that read the data memory and is writing it back into the register file is some kind of load. And in particular, we know that it's writing into register v0. So it's some kind of load whose destination is v0. Looking at the instruction in the mem stage, we notice that it's neither reading nor reading writing the memory. So we know it's not a load and it's not a store. Um, furthermore, we know that its destination register is T3. And if looking at this number, this is a signal this is one of the control signals associated with the mem stage, associated with the instruction in the mem stage, and this is the reg write signal associated with the instruction in the mem stage. And you can see that by looking at the documentation we've provided in class about the forwarding unit. So we know that the instruction that's in the mem stage also writes a register. And so that means it can't be a branch also, for example. It's some sort of arithmetic instruction. So maybe we'll include that here. It's not a branch. So we don't know what kind of instruction it is precisely, but we know some stuff about what it isn't. Moving on to the EX stage, um, we see a couple things. One is ALU source, one, ALU source is 1, and so that means that we're taking the sign extended immediate and using that as one of the inputs into the ALU. So we know it uses the immediate. We also note that it's forwarding into both multiplexers. So both of these multiplexers aren't 0. In the first case, um, it's 1, and so that means it's pulling the operand, which is the one being written in the write back stage. So we know the first source, we know RS is whatever was being written, which is V0. The second multiplexer has its input set to 2, so that means it's reading the value that was that's being written in the mem stage. And that, we know, is T3. So we know that RT for that instruction is T3. Um, well, do we know anything about what kind of instruction it is? And the answer is yes, that we wouldn't bother setting this control mux necessarily unless it was going to get used. Um, in which case, if we're not going to use, since ALU source is set to 1, um, we don't care about this path because that's going to get ignored. So the only useful path for that value is to come this way, and that's going to lead to the right port of the memory. And so maybe a good guess for this instruction is that it's a store. Maybe there's no guarantee. There might be reasons why we would design our hardware to that even if the RT bits were set to T3, even if it wasn't a store, we might set up this forwarding. Um, but uh, you know, we could guess that it's a store. 
What about the ID stage? Um, we look at the ID stage and there's not much to glean here. The only things that we can we can tell are the source registers. So in this case RS is AT and RT is T0. We have no idea what kind of instruction that is, whether it writes the register file or not, whether it reads memory. There's nothing that really tells us that. And, and for the IF stage, there's really nothing at all that we can know. That we have no control signals that say anything about the instruction at all.